Hey guys, I just wanted to put together this quick video of a place in Minecraft on a multiplayer server that I have not been in a long time. And I wanted to kind of do this video before the map gets reset so that I have sort of a visual memory and you guys can see what I worked on for what ended up being over six months earlier this year in 2015 so this place is rehab uh, the IP will be in the description it's a public server anybody can log in and check it out unfortunately there is not a way to access this place other than the coordinates I will display them at the end of the video and also put them in the description if you are interested in visiting this place yourself I haven't been here in at least three or four months so it's going to be interesting I was actually doing a few tests before we started recording it turns out I'm not a donor anymore so I can't fly I guess that got stripped off me at some point but that's okay and I can't break any blocks here uh, unfortunately I lost my ownership privilege at some point or another after I left so we don't have access to that either but I thought we could still tour it nonetheless um, you will see that my gear is less than ideal at the moment to do this, but that's just the gear I had sort of post what I was working on here. Now all of this was built in survival mode. All the resources here were hand gathered and put into this project. Uh, there was a few bits and pieces done in world edit when things didn't quite work out right, but all the materials were survival. It took a long time and unfortunately because of the situation regarding my flyability we're not going to be able to look at it all but we can look at most of it so let's get started here and let's turn the HUD on I'm the only one on the server right now I don't think too many people come on here anymore um, but I know that some still do I've chose to come on at this time I'm recording when I know that nobody's around deliberately because I don't want to I don't really want to see anybody right now on here um, I kind of just want to do this video in private, you know, and kind of share without the distraction of chat. So, uh, this is kind of the entrance area that we had. There's a nether portal here which connected to the nether. Kind of went with a Zen garden theme. I've used this in other places since uh, because I really like the style that it provides. And I think this is a pretty cool organic way for a nice entrance. Then got the sign, Brett's Pharmacy there, and let's uh, walk in, I guess. So this was sort of the main entrance area. There's an item elevator here, which ferries all the items up from down there. Uh, you can see down there there is a guardian farm. There is also all this wooden stuff is a archive. It's a big giant library. We can't access that, I don't think. Uh, I might be able to dive down there and survive in the water so that we can take a look, but I'm not sure. So yeah, there's a guardian farm down there, and this is an item elevator. Um, you can kind of see some guardians dying down there right now. So this is an item elevator. I believe that these are broken in the next patch, not that it's going to matter now. Um, and the idea behind this project was a vision I had had in Minecraft for a long time which I did on this server and that was to farm everything in one place I wanted to farm all the items and resources that I could within the realms of one base and this eventually was going to be used for everybody not just me uh, for everybody on this server and again this was a sort of medium-sized server so I kind of built that you know built with that in mind so this can support 15 or 20 players so I guess we'll start by doing the left section here, which is the darkroom trap, the iron golem farm, the gold farm, and the automatic potion brewer. So up here we have a darkroom trap. This is a standard piston darkroom trap. You can see you've got the loot in there. We have a toggle switch here, which will send it to storage, should I so choose. This darkroom also supports endermen as well, that's what it does, uh, you heard one die just now, 
and one of the big features which you'll see around here is these types of things and integration I wanted it all integrated into one storage room if I could and to have access to that there are some things that aren't but most are across this way we have the potion brewing area through here which we'll come back to but instead we'll look at the iron golem farm really quick so this is uh, a pretty standard iron golem farm there's nothing too special about it uh, this is based off of Doc M77's design uh, but with some expansions and extra enhancements that I added um, obviously there are four towers each with three cells each given as a total of 12 towers this farm got messed up due to world edit related problems that we had so the spawning is kind of displaced permanently now so it doesn't quite work as intended but it does still work you know enough to support the people that I wanted to support with it through here we have the automatic potion brewer um, there's instructions and stuff on how to do this but generally what you would do is you would throw um, water bottles against this here so they get picked up by a small item elevator again this won't work in the next patch and you can turn it on or off here there's a brewing stand you can brew speed or slowness here you can choose your ingredients obviously speed by default is going to be enabled but then you could choose with these levers whichever you would want so if you want to make it splash you could use the gunpowder you wanted to use or make slowness you could use um, fermented spider eye and nether wart you've always got to have that for every potion recipe so you put nether wart last so that gets sent uh, last after the potions leave so that it enters the top there ready to brew the next set and I've done that with Pretty much everything here. I think there's one weakness. Yeah, weakness doesn't have nether wart because it doesn't need it. Uh, and then we've got some storage and whatnot set up around here. So I, uh, I guess my sounds aren't off. It's just that the chests don't have a opening sound, which is a bit weird. Uh, I think there's some bug with the plug-in that controls the locking mechanism. Uh, so that's about that. So back through this way. Oh, and by the way, the dark room there is just a standard piston design with tripwire, if I didn't already mention that. Through here is a gold farm. Now, I had to work within some challenges with this particular gold farm because we were not allowed to go above the nether, which is a rule I can completely respect. It's a rule I have on hidden secrets to not go above the nether because it's, it's laggy, it's technically exploiting the game, the dark oak bug is now fixed. Um, and you could die doing it, so... Hmm, there's still some stuff in here. I generally chose not to do that. Well, I was told not to do that by the owner. So instead, I had to build a portal-based gold farm. And you can turn it on and off over here. And what this does is it turns on a huge portal mechanism up there. There's several portals that turn on the pigmen spawn, and there are trap doors which trick their pathfinding so that they collect into the middle there's a huge water stream and they land here and they have I think half a heart left or close to it and you can just throw healing potions at them you know use a looting sword if you had one and you can collect the experience through the corner any of the loot will be collected by this chest and you would AFK up there this is an AFK type farm um, this is storage for health potions we've got an enchantment table here it was pretty efficient actually if I recall and a really, a really, really good XP farm, an alternative, and one I've not done before, because I, you know, typically, like on my single player, in Mr. Impretable Plays Minecraft, I've built a AFK gold farm, just pure AFK above the nether, whereas this one was more of a portal gold farm, and you could have experience with it, and things like that, and it's, it's definitely the way to go, probably for an early gold farm late game you'd want to build something a bit better than that it took a lot of time to get all the portals uh, set up there was a lot of obsidian involved and again it's a shame I can't fly up and show you and there's also kinda can see it probably can't see it too well on video but there's a ton of redstone up there at the top to toggle the on off mechanism each portal has to have a flint and steel and a water bucket all tied in with it so that you can turn it on and off 
remotely. You can kind of see some of the redstone torches up there. It was one of the messiest farms I've ever wired. Uh, if they release the world download for this, then you'll probably be able to see it there. And I may even recap some of the stuff I missed on a separate video if they release that. Through here is the big storage room. Uh, so in here, this is where everything is stored. So Prismarine from the Guardian farm, we've already seen. Fish, it's a bit laggy in here, I've noticed. Squid ink, a uh, byproduct of the Guardian farm down there. Extra fish, uh, you can get that from the Guardian farm and also through the AFK fish farm. This was all the junk, uh, although it was not really, the sorter wasn't working last time I worked on this. There were some bugs with it. Again, that was a spigot bug. Um, there's also room here for ice and snow. Uh, looks like things have got rather badly messed up while I've been away, honestly. Uh, you can see feathers and chicken from the chicken farm there. Just flint for arrows. Steak, leather. Uh, mutton there from the sheep. Rabbit. Pork chop, eggs. Uh, rabbit hide. The various bulb drops in the dark room. Uh, stuff from the blaze farm. Ender eyes, uh, which came from the Enderman farm, which I also built on the server. I don't know if that's still operating or not. I haven't looked. Um, slime balls from the slime farm. Got a ton of those. Magma cream. You could make more with the blaze rods and slime balls there. Iron from the iron farm. Gold nuggets and gold ingots from the gold farm. Poppies. String from the dual cave spider trap that we have, um, or that I built. Uh, I farmed pretty much everything on this server, by the way. Uh, I farmed Enderman, Blazers, I did all this, Cave Spiders. There's pretty much the only thing I did farm was Wither Skeletons and Witches. Because all the fortresses were broken, and I never found a witch up, so... <laughs> I couldn't do those two. Nether Wart here, uh, Redstone, Glowstone, uh, Last Bottle and Sticks. So I guess I kind of farmed Witches in the Dark Room, but I didn't build a Witch exclusive farm. Over here we have a bunch of signs and things like that. There was some armor stands here, but they disappeared clearly. Uh, as you can see, visit the different warps here. Uh, I don't think that warp exists anymore. Um, yeah, so this had some real bad problems. To kind of explain this story here, uh, the pharmacy got pranked a while ago. Uh, and it got pretty badly messed up. It got flooded uh, with water. Some world edit stuff happened and it really ended up glitched out. Some of the effects are still here, unfortunately. And as a result of that, um, you know, we had to kind of all chip in together. And those of you who are familiar with my Hidden Secret series will recognize this as being the whiskers and this as being B-squared. Uh, they helped me fix it. This is the server I met these two people on, actually. Uh, there's a couple of other people here that I know. Lottie appeared in my fan UHC, so you guys will be familiar with her. Aaron. Uh, Jarrah is a really old member. I haven't seen Jarrah probably in close to a year. Uh, Kulabs. I think he watches my videos. I'm not sure. Uh, he might watch this one, though. So, Kulabs there. Uh, there's all my dyes here. Uh, there was big sorting for dyes and stuff like that going on. Flowers was in here. Uh, saplings and wood from the tree farm. Uh, apples. Charcoal. I had a charcoal maker. And stuff like that. Mushroom farm. I had that. Uh, various plant type stuff. Uh, melons, pumpkins. All it's a bit clogged up now. Um, Seeds is a byproduct, sugar, sugar canes, vines and cactus. So there was there was plenty of stuff here. <laughs> it was really going to be the catch-all place to go. And I would like to do something like this again, if I can. Uh, so up here is um, farming, food, and sort of miscellaneous-y type stuff. Um... So in this particular room we have the flower farm, tall grass, and nano farm. So we have a flower farm here, pre fairly standard flower farm. You just you know click the lever, it gives you flowers on demand. You put extras in the chest, 
kind of like this over here, but you just hit a button, it grows these into two high plants, and then you can shear them. This is just your fairly standard nano farm. You turn it on, you hold down right click on the uh, dirt there, and you'll get multiple crops. Over here, we have the AFK fish farm. I've done this design kind of all over the place. It's in my single player at the lab. Um, I've done it on Hidden Secrets now. I've done it on various other worlds and places. So you guys will be familiar with that. We'll get back to that in a minute. Up here is just kind of a decorative tree that ended up looking a bit weird. Through here is sort of all the food production and wool, so I guess you could consider this animals, so it's going to get noisy. So we have a standard pig farm here, with just carrots and whatnot. It's really hard to do anything automatic with these cows up here. And I also didn't use any ladders for vertical travel. I wanted to only use slime blocks and water elevators. Also on the top there, you can't access it right now. Or maybe you can access it. I don't know if you can or not. I never went high enough to check. Can you access it? Lottie's Bunny Sanctuary is also up here. No, you can't access it. Oh, you can actually. So this is Lottie's Bunny Sanctuary. Uh, Lottie loved the rabbits that were outed in Minecraft 1.8 and wanted a place where they would be safe from being killed and despite the fact that there is a, a rabbit collection system in place in the pharmacy collection room there, none of the bunnies here actually get harmed so uh, this is kind of a safe haven for those bunnies. There was a lot killed if I recall on here. Good times. Look, but do not kill these rabbits or face the wrath of Lottie. Yes, indeed. Lottie's lovely though, really. Um, so this is a chicken farm. Fairly standard chicken farm. An egg farm here that doesn't have any eggs in it, I guess. Wow, is that how long the chunks have not been loaded? I guess nobody's been here, huh? This is uh, the sheep farm. We've got ourselves a wool chest here and a shears chest. This has all the different colours you would have seen at the start there. Uh, there was a tower made of different colours of stained glass. As you can see, it kind of makes a rainbow pattern. We went red, orange, yellow. I think this is lime. Then this would be green. Uh, cyan maybe next. Yeah. And then sort of light blue. We've got blue. I think we'll probably start to fade to purple. Yeah. Magenta. Pink, I'm guessing, is going to be next. And then brown at the very top. I actually intended to put brown further below, but I actually forgot about it at the time, so I ended up just sticking it on top, and it doesn't look too bad. Took a lot of time to do this, if I recall. This whole project took a lot of time to do. I was on here every day, pretty much, without fail, for the best part of six months building this, because I did it all in survival. Even building something like this in creative mode would be tough. But doing it in survival took a lot of time. Uh, as you can see, there's all of these various canals and whatnot. These are all ice streams that connect everything together so that it all goes to the storage room. Uh, through here, we have the sort of crop farming and things like that. Uh, this is just a standard sugarcane farm. You know, you just hold down left click to harvest. I think through here, if I recall, is the tree farm. I'm actually going to take a sip of tea. Hmm. That's nice. <clears throat> so we have vines, oak saplings, cocoa beans and melons, and pumpkins, I think, as well. Cocoa beans in here, this is just a standard automatic cocoa bean farm. I actually built this on Hidden Secrets later. Through here is the melon and pumpkin farm. As you can see, I'm storing melons now because I got that many. This is a fairly standard piston based design. I think it's triggered on a hopper clock, if anything, and these are just stacked up. Through here, we just have a standard vine farm. You know, you get a pair of shears, you shear them, and they get collected. There's not much more you can do with vines than that, honestly. And through here we have the tree farm. Oh, the cow is still here. That's pretty neat. So what we have here is we have dispensers filled with bone meal so that you can bone meal trees. 
there used to be a plugin on here which auto cut trees down for you so you didn't have to you know manually chop them and it would replant the saplings allowing you to just go again plus fast leaf decay enabled it really convenient uh, the auto collection mode was a minecart hopper that would run underneath the floor here collect all the saplings wood and anything else on the floor and it would push it through a sorter if this was on it would make charcoal which would be dispensed over here so this would be if you wanted wood and saplings and stuff this would be charcoal over here we weren't really sure what to do so I ended up just putting in a decorative whatever um, I made a cow here didn't I call it something Oh yeah, I think it was Moving Productions Presents the Happy Cow, or something like that, if I recall correctly. So this was just a decorative type thing in there. <clears throat> and that's about that, honestly. Oop. For the tree farm, not a whole lot to there. Um, lots of redstone involved that I can't see because I don't have the permissions to do so. So, moving on here. Oh, there is beacons still set up here. I was wondering about that, if there was or not. So let's go back to the main entrance and climb the water ladder here. This you can kind of see as being the mushroom farm as we go up. That's a big automatic non-access farm. And there's also the cactus as well. A huge cactus farm in there. Produced tons of cactus for me. I also had to build environments, like all of this is covered in wheat. This is our wheat, carrots, potatoes, and nether wart farm. Under here is entirely filled with wheat. Many diamond hoes were spent on this. You can kind of get a nice view here. And one thing I'm actually excited about seeing is what's up above this on the other side. This will be interesting. It brings back some good memories. So up here is a cafe, uh, the rooftop cafe. I decided to do an organic oriental theme in here, but also kind of stick to a bar. So these were various drinks named after different moderators at the time. I don't think all of these people are even still here, to be honest. I think a lot of them have left. Uh, yep, there's me. I was the fire resistance. Cool Labs helped me uh, design some of the stuff in this project and helped test it. Um, and you know, he kind of got various different seating areas. Did he ever get the chairs fixed? He did. How about that? So, the chairs plugin enabled you to actually sit at these tables, which I thought was pretty neat. Those of you who watched Hidden Secrets will know that in episode one, that was actually referenced. Um, the Whiskers was talking about wanting chairs for the server. Um, through here is kind of a disco dance floor type of thing. There was a snow golem up here, but it kept dying. We're not sure why. And, you know, you could play different records and whatnot in here. As you can see, I kind of stuck with the sugar cane for the organic theme. I think I remember building this right around the time I became a moderator on the server. So uh, this is the saloon here, Whiskers Saloon. Just a place that you could chill out and hang out. Um, Trying to really integrate that organic theme. And I'd like to do something like this again at some point. A build like this, that is, you know, the cafe. And through here is the exit and Lottie's lounge. Both Lottie and, well, Lottie was an administrator. Whiskers was the owner, uh, but they kind of worked together. The crafting table there, so that I could craft stuff. I remember this taking a long time. Good memories, good memories. Um, so I guess we'll go back down now and check out the Guardian Farm last. I don't know how long this video is going to be, to be honest. It's just kind of me rambling and getting nostalgic. So, there wasn't really a point to doing this video. I kind of just wanted to do it before the world gets reset. I know it's getting reset soon. I'm not sure when, but I know it is soon. Um, which is a shame. I'll miss this world. But, uh, well, I never really visit here anymore, so... You'll never see me online on this server. I don't come on here anymore. 
I mean, it is pretty much public knowledge now that me and Whiskers don't really talk anymore. Um, you know, and I've kind of moved on to do different projects now. So, and he's done the same. I wish him well with his endeavours, um, and I hope that he's succeeding with them. Now, where would be a safe way to go down? Maybe here. I always get that vertigo, you know, when you jump down, it affects me every time in this game. Uh, you can kind of see it from below as well, see what it looks like. Can't even get it all in one render shot, to be honest. So down here is a tower. I think this is dedicated to B-squared. I actually managed to light everything up on this island. Oh man, I remember when this place was just the island with a bunch of chests on it, and there was a big pit there. I have some screenshots of that. Maybe I'll put them up in an Imgur album, if you're interested, and put it in the description. So this tower here is a tower just to kind of fill up the island and bulk it out. There was a sign on it at one point, but I, I guess it's been moved now. Uh, but this was meant to be B-squared's tower. I'm pretty sure. I really like the purple stained glass and this prismarine. We don't have an ocean monument on hidden secrets so I haven't really been able to do stuff with with that um, since and I, I've only ever found one on my single player and I never built a farm out of it so I was also kind of playing through the east commons of super hostile legendary when I built this so you could definitely get that vibe from this um, this here <laughs> was a happy birthday area that B Squared built. This is not long after me and B Squared had really gotten to know each other well. And uh, she took the time out of her day to build this for me on my birthday because typically I don't celebrate it. I still appreciate this and we had a uh, we had a good time with this. It was kind of tradition to celebrate all the moderators birthdays if they could, if everybody was around, so and finally, over here, you see that light bug there? That was to do with the world edit problems we had. You can kind of see it underneath there. You can really begin to appreciate all the piping and stuff that goes in. They all actually collect in the Guardian farm here. Uh, that's where everything is processed. Because then it goes back up that item elevator into the central room. So you can kind of see here we have the Guardian farm. Uh, this is where the item elevator is. Oop. There's a pathway out to this. There was a ladder here at one point. There is no longer. I'm wondering, can I survive that fall? I'm gonna guess no. <laughs> I don't have dash back. Uh, can I survive there, I wonder. I kind of feel like I could survive there. Do I have a water bucket on me? I do. I could water bucket down. I'm probably gonna water bucket down to one of the slab areas though. So this was all carved out by me with uh, Efficiency 5 and Haste 2. It was all beaconed, I guess. I can't place it here. Well, hmm, darn. <laughs> I didn't realize, I guess. Um, how many blocks is that? That's definitely more than 24, for sure. 3, 6, 9, 15, yeah, it's definitely more than 24. So we can't go down there. I wish we could. You can kind of see what I was going for. I never got the archive bit finished. Uh, the pharmacy bit was done, but not this. This was considered a separate project. See the slime farm in action down there. Tons of guardians spawning. Uh, I think that's the only guardian farm I've ever built. I don't think I've built one anywhere else. Um, down here, you can kind of see I was beginning to add all the bookshelves and torches. There was an enchantment table there. My objective was to have all the enchanted books stored in one place and have a big archive with mazes and stuff that people could explore. Never got to finish that though, unfortunately. I guess we could visit over here really quick. Now this should be interesting actually. Over here is my... my collection point for the overflow, but also where all my items and stuff were. Oh boy, this has been quite nostalgic but also quite sad and I've been thinking about doing it for a while but something happened earlier today that prompted me to do
do it. So I've got a little slime down here. There is. Hello, friend. I'm sorry that I'm gonna have to kill you. So let's see what we have left in here. Is there anything left in here? Lots of prismarine. Tons of prismarine. Definitely weren't sure on that stuff. Yeah. The furnace array there. These are all emptied. Uh, yeah, these are all my tools that I left behind. Uh, Zerixima made that for me uh, at his uh, shop. So it took shears in there. I remember losing a pair of those and I was so sad because I had to start and use picks for it. Uh, which I was kind of sad about. Uh, this is all overflow book storage for stuff. And up here, can't place anything here. God damn it. Up there is all of my extra space. There's lots of blocks up there, diorite, andesite, stuff that I didn't use. Um, so yeah, I guess uh, go back to this. Uh, as I say, this is not used now. Uh, nobody ever used this. It never got opened. That's okay. I think if anything, it serves as a monument and remains intact for anybody to use. I know they've got a region set up around it, which is probably why I'm not on the region list and why I can't edit anything. But that's kind of that. I just wanted to share that with you guys before it's gone because I worked very hard on this. And while it won't be gone forever, it will exist in a world download. It's, it's not something that... Hmm, how do I put this? It's not going to be gone forever, but it feels like it will be because it'll never be used. I'm never here anymore. And I spent over six months working on this project. So at least if we have a video record of it, then part of it lives on with us forever, I guess, or at least for a long time, while ever YouTube is what it is. Um, kind of final words on this, having looked around, I am glad I did this project. I thought that it was a ton of fun while doing it, if not a bit stressful at times and very hard going. I was able to make some awesome friends through doing this. I met the Whiskers properly and I also met B-Squared. Um, and obviously this here kind of eventually transpired into Hidden Secrets. So I guess you could say this is where the idea of it was forged, I suppose. Now. Coming up after this video, there's going to be a Hidden Secrets video. I'm going to give you a heads up about this, guys, because I don't think it'll be today. But if it is today, then you'll know about it probably by now. But I've got to do a Hidden Secrets video. It's a video I don't want to do particularly, but we're going to have to do it. And I'm going to be doing another talk on Hidden Secrets. Um, I'm not leaving there. Don't worry about that. I'm not going to be going anywhere. It's still my server, etc., etc. So don't get too worried. But um, I've got some announcements to make with Hidden Secrets, and I'm pretty bummed, to be honest. And I'm, I'm a bit down about it. Maybe you can tell. Um, but the sun rises again over Fret's Pharmacy here. Another day will pass. As I say, if you want to check this out yourself, then all I would do is I would go to these coordinates. It is basically minus 3,000. Minus 1,200, so not too far from spawn. A lot of it's on boat, so... And this is Minecraft 1.8. Any version will work. And if you decide to pop on and, and say hello to different people, then say that I sent you. And I give you... I give the people here their best wishes. Um, my best wishes, I guess. And maybe even tell them about this video. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I don't play here anymore. I have no plans to play here anymore in the future. I believe after the reset, this server is changing and it's not going to be a semi-vanilla server anymore. It's going to be a faction server, I think. Um, and I have no interest in factions. I don't even have any interest in, in playing here anymore. I think the community is wonderful. There are some great people in this community. But as you guys know, things are not... Things are not in a good place here for me. My interests and whatnot lie elsewhere. So, 
that's going to be just about it for this video guys i hope you've enjoyed and i hope to see you in another video sometime soon thanks for taking this tour with me so see you later and have a good day